I have another flashlight I want to share with you today. Today it is the Next Torch P8. If you're interested in hearing more about this budget light, keep watching. And just before we get started, I'd like to thank the company Flashlight Brand for sending me the Next Torch P8 so that I could share it with you. As always, we'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go over the key features for this light. I'll go over its physical and performance specifications as well as its modes of operation. And then we'll get outside and do some testing. So just before we take a closer look at the Next Torch P8, I thought I'd share with you what it came with. This is the box that the flashlight arrived in inside of the box box is the operating manual and warranty information, USB Type-C charging cable, and a nice little wrist lanyard. The other thing that came with the flashlight is the business card from Flashlight Brand that they asked that I show you on both sides, 10% cast back for any reviews you do on their flashlights. Nice little bonus there. Let's bring the flashlight back in. So a couple of the other things that I want to mention is that this has an 18650, 2600 milliamp battery, rechargeable battery in the light, but it is not removable. So you should know that. All right, key features of this light include two operating buttons right here. Let me give you a little bit of a close-up. The forward button is strobe only, so that'll operate the strobe for you, whereas the button at the back will operate a temporary on and off and the three light levels. I'll demonstrate that in a few moments time. Another thing that's kind of unique about this light is the fact that it has a covered USB Type-C charging port. There it is right there. So it is protected from dust and water by just screwing it off, screwing it back on with an O-ring around the center. Now, not of much value to me, and I'm not sure about the effectiveness because I wouldn't have much of an opportunity to test this out, but this has window breaking dots on top of the crenellation. So if you are a first responder, paramedic, police officer, security guard that may have a need to break car glass or car window glass, this may be of some value to you. And the other thing of interest on this light is that it does have battery status lights right here. You'll see four little LEDs. They'll light up when I show you the demonstration and that'll give you a running status of the battery strength left. All right, let's go over the physical specifications for this light. So the overall length of this light is 5.5 inches, 140 millimeters. And at its widest, it is 1.1 inches, which is 28 millimeters. Its weight is 4.93 ounces, which is 140 grams. It has an impact resistance of two meters and a water resistance of IPX7. Now, as far as performance specifications, we'll start at the low mode. At low, it has a 25 lumen setting, but will run 60 hours and cast a beam approximately 30 meters. On medium, 350 lumens lasting four hours and 30 minutes with a beam cast of 115 meters. And on high, it has a very respectable 1300 lumens, which will last for two hours and give a 240 millimeter cast. And as you can see down inside, it is an orange peel reflector that is set up more for uh, throwing or spotlight than it is for flood. But as you'll see, it has a nice combination of both. It does also have the strobe, as I mentioned a minute ago, and that will run at 1300 lumens. So the operation of the Next Torch P8 is very simple. Let's start with the strobe. As I mentioned, there is a forward button that is solely dedicated to operating the strobe. Very simple. The button behind operates a partial press for high and a full press, which will take you to medium, and then another partial press down to low, and you cycle back through. Let me demonstrate. So a partial press, demonstrated on the table, that is. Partial press brings you in at high. If you press it all the way down, it drops to medium. Another partial press drops you down to low, and you can just keep partial pressing, and it will cycle back up to high, to medium, and to low again. If you turn it off and turn it back on, it goes back on high to medium. So there is no memory. You do have to cycle through the levels each time. Having gone over the key features, as well as the performance and physical specifications and the modes of operation for the next Torch P8, only one thing left to do, Get outside and do some testing. Doing some nighttime testing of the Next Torch P8, and I'm outside of my home, and I'll be shining it at the side of my house so you get an idea of what the beam pattern looks like. So I'm about 15 feet away, and the uh, side of my home is painted white. So when I turn it on, as I mentioned before, it starts off in the high mode, 
And then if I fully press it in, you can see, and of course the camera is doing some compensation, so, or it starts off in turbo and then it moves to high. There is a central hotspot, but it kind of moves out into the flood very gradually. Still, it's, it's a nice to have that spot and flood mixed together. Let's take it down to low and you can see it's still very low, high, medium, and low. All right, I'll move it into my backyard so you can see how well it illuminates the backyard. On low, it's just touching the tree 60 feet away. But when you go to high, it absolutely illuminates everything back there. And medium's not bad either, but high was definitely the winner. Low, high, medium, and back to low again. And let's go over a few of the pros and cons for the next Torch P8 before closing this video out. So what do I really like about it? I like the lighting. It has a nice combination of spot and flood sufficient for all the needs that I have. I like the fact that it does have that covered USB charging port so I don't have to worry about anything of getting inside of it. I do like the fact that there are two operating buttons. One that distinguishes the strobe away from the other lumen settings. And I like the fact that the the main button operates on a partial press to access high. As I mentioned, that's probably what I use this light on most of all. I like the fact that it is rather slim in nature for the size of this light. This actually is a very good size everyday carry or EDC light. The knurling on it is very fine as you can see and it does provide good grip without being overly aggressive in the hands. So what do I think they can improve on? Well, I think right off the top, the fact that you cannot replace the battery is a bit of a on. You can't even get at the battery for any reason. So yeah, once the flashlight battery is gone, you're going to have to look for a new light. Bit of a con there, but this seems to be a good battery and it's certainly holding its charge now. So I guess for as long as I likely to use this light, it'll be fine for, for me. The other thing I'd like to see on this is one of two things. How about a pocket clip or at least a pouch for carrying this? It really does call out for a pocket clip because it's small enough and thin enough that you could carry this in your pocket if you had a pocket clip. Those are both the only things I can find to say that aren't entirely positive about this light. Okay, if you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comments section below. I will provide all the information about this light as well as where you can purchase it at in the video description. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.